welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a chatty get ready with me, um, kind of like a life update. I'm not a makeup artist, so this isn't going to be anything special, but I just kind of wanted something to do while I talked, so I wasn't just staring at a camera rambling for ever. <laughs> um, my last video, it was a while ago, well, it was last month, but um, I had mentioned that I was going to be getting a hearing aid and that that would be my next video. But I don't have a hearing aid. I haven't gotten it yet. Um, basically, I kind of wanted to just like make up. I didn't want to say make up something because I wouldn't lie. But basically, hearing aids are expensive. They're very expensive. And I don't really like talking about our financial life too, too much on line just because I feel like that's kind of private but basically we just can't afford to get it right now and my parents were going to help but something came up so they couldn't at the time either um that will hopefully change whether my husband and I are just pay for it within the, the next few months or if my parents still decide that they want to help out then you know within the next few months that will probably change but um yeah right so right now hearing aids kind of on the back burner but that's okay um and then I actually am working from home now I have my own business which is like really weird to even say to be honest um I don't know maybe I'll do like a whole video on how that even came to be because it was all god like I can't even say that I'm doing this on my own merit right now. Um, I'm just like really thankful and blessed that God provided, I'm supposed to be doing makeup. <laughs> like God provided this job for me um, and my husband. But basically, yes, I'm working from home. I do social media marketing and I am using an iPad screen and a tiny, tiny mirror to, I need new makeup, to watch myself do my makeup, so. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my gosh. Come on, little fella. Anyways, <laughs> I'm doing social media marketing. I have four clients and I feel very, very lucky to be able to stay home. Like this has always been a dream of mine and I really didn't see a way for it to like actually happen <laughs> um, until now. So yes, I have business doing that. I'm really, I'm enjoying it, but right now like things are kind of stressful going from one client to four, especially when I'm at a point in my life where I'm struggling with um, a lot of other things. It's just been a little overwhelming. Um, to say the least. <laughs> I think in the beginning things are hard too because there's a lot of stuff that I have to consider and set up. Um, I didn't know how many clients I was going to get <coughs> until very, very last minute. And that definitely played a part in my lack of preparedness um I didn't know how I was going to have my schedule set up like it was impossible to really determine that beforehand um it was impossible to determine like everything I was fully going to need to do beforehand like and then I you know ended up starting super fast with just like immediately having deadlines and that was just a bit overwhelming but any who's, any who's all, <clears throat> I look like I am putting on more pink right now. <sighs> this concealer, by the way, is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I swear this is a dupe for um, the Tarte Shape Tape, which I never thought I would stop using, but like, I don't know why I'm putting so much of this on right now. Um, I I really, really like this, and it's so much cheaper, so I'm going to keep using that, and yes, but right now it's kind of old, so if it doesn't blend very well, that's why I really need to go buy new makeup right now. <laughs> I 
I just haven't been wearing it, so it's been kind of not priority. But anyways, yes, lots of four clients, definitely kind of overwhelming, and all of it is really just new. Um, I know once I'm kind of done getting everything set up and I get into routine, it's going to be a thousand times easier, you know, like the work itself. It's not, um, like I don't want to, you know, take credit away from myself by saying it's not hard because it's, it's not necessarily hard, but it just, um, can be mentally exhausting because it's just a lot of staring at screens, coming up with ideas, like brainstorming, um, and doing a lot of the same thing over and over again and it can just really make your brain feel very fried <laughs> but uh yeah it's been it's been nice to be home especially being able to just stay home with Coda um but aside from that well I and I literally just started doing that last week like today is Monday no is today on Monday See, that's the other thing, is that when you're home all the time, like, <laughs> I feel like my weekends and weekdays are blurring together because I've been working, like, every single day. Um, what day is it today? Tuesday, I think. The 14th. Oh, yeah, it's the 14th. My husband and I have been together for six years today, so that's kind of special. <laughs> um, yeah, we've been together for six years today. Today's the 14th, so last week on Monday, I started. Wow, all that to say, that. But, what do I want? I guess I'll put on my eyeshadow. <laughs> um, so, if you're on my channel, you probably know that my husband and I have been trying to have a baby for two years. And... I am struggling, honestly, more than I ever have with that. Um, I never thought that, that we, we would be uh, trying for two years. Like, I know that there's people who have been trying for a lot longer, but two years feels like a really long time to me right now where I'm at. Um, and it's just been, it's been really hard to be honest. I've been struggling with like true anxiety for the first time in a very long time. And excuse me, you're too young for makeup. Please sit down. Contain yourself. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sit. Thank you. Any hizzle. Um, what was I even saying? This is like, hello, black eye over here. It's like, mom, you never do your makeup on the floor where I can be involved. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yes, it's been hard. Um, I just, I didn't think that we would make it to two years. Uh, I'm, my husband and I, obviously, we've wanted babies since we started trying to have babies. In my case, uh, long, long before we started trying to have babies, I wanted a baby. I feel like my makeup is coming off quite old on camera, but I will. Uh, I have wanted to be a mom more than I have wanted anything else in my life. And that started as like an early, early teenager. I remember in 2012, when everyone thought the world was going to end, I legit cried to my mom, telling her that I just wanted to have children before I died. And I was like, so young. I was in junior high still. Uh, um, and that being said, I don't idolize the idea of being a mother. I think I did at one point. Actually, I know I did at one point. And... Being a nanny definitely changed that for me. Um, I think I realized that, you know, <laughs> being a mom is hard. Being a nanny is incredibly hard. And when you're a mom, you don't get to go home at the end of the day. So, I don't I idolize 
being a mother, but I want to be a mom desperately. And I feel God has promised me that I will be a mother one day, but um, waiting on his timing right now is really hard. I love him and I trust him and I know that he knows what's best for me, but it really is just incredibly difficult right now. But I mentioned anxiety. Um, I've always struggled with anxiety. When I was young, it was social anxiety really, really badly. Um, like severe social anxiety. But it, for the last few years, has mostly just been like situational anxiety, which I feel like is probably the most common. You know, something happens that kind of warrants anxiety and you get it. But, um... I have been having anxiety that is, there's no like particular cause, it's just there and you just have that feeling like, like you're a soda can that's just been shaken and like you're about to explode kind of, <laughs> like you just feel um, unsettled and like my heart feels like it's in my throat, <clears> throat> it's not a fun feeling don't recommend it <laughs> like we have control over that right um i believe that god heals people and can you know ease people's anxieties you know jesus is the prince of peace and you know i, I believe that that is possible, but I also believe that there's a difference between worry and um, just like your typical anxiety and having like true anxiety, like a um, like disorder or like depression that you can't control. Um, and I'm kind of right now like this constantly. I will have a day where Part of the day I'm feeling really really down and I'm just like crying on and off throughout the day and then all of a sudden like I've been reading my bible a lot and you know I'll just feel like the holy spirit just comfort me and um I'll feel better but then I'll feel sad again <laughs> uh I don't really know where I'm going with this other than to just be honest and update <laughs> you guys. I have used my Instagram account as an outlet for my fertility, honestly, mostly just because it helps other people. It helps me knowing that I'm helping somebody else helps me more than posting does, if that makes sense. When I first posted, it was just to be honest about what was going on. And I started getting like thank you messages and um, when I make certain posts like I see that people send them to each other and they save them and it just makes me feel like okay this is resonating with somebody and it's helping them and it just kind of gives me like it helps me justify all of this. It helps me justify why like other people can get pregnant and I have been waiting. Um, I guess I was just for a while there feeling like, okay, well maybe God wants me to encourage other women struggling with this as well. And so that was just kind of like my mission and that is what, what was kind of keeping me grounded through this journey and I don't want to sound bad I know this there's not really a way to sound say this without sounding bad I don't have that drive anymore right now like I don't have that drive to like make other people feel good or help um other people with their fertility not because I don't care, because I, I really do, but right now I am just very 
like I'm I'm just struggling so much with my own that I don't feel like I have anything to give and that sucks that really sucks to say um and I have days where I don't feel like that and days where like I do want to help but I I don't know it's just been not the easiest not the easiest thing for me and um my husband and I we we want it now more than we ever have especially him he's a you know when we decided to start trying he was very nervous about it and kind of just like okay well when it happens it happens <laughs> because he was so nervous about it uh he didn't want to I don't know he has fears like any other person that wants to have children I think that's normal and um now he just he wants it more <clears throat> he's ready for it now I'm ready for it I'm just rambling so much I feel like I don't know if this is going to be very boring because I feel like my thoughts are <coughs> just coming out <laughs> I don't know but I'm 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 not gonna say I'm okay I'm not okay right now I'm I'm really not but I am not like going to harm myself or you know I'm not in a mental place like that. I just am not, I'm not me right now. And that's hard. <coughs> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. I am having pretty bad allergies or I'm getting a cold or something. Um, I know, I know. Can you calm down, please? Please, mommy has to finish her makeup. Even though I just kind of said everything I wanted to say, I still feel like I didn't say enough for some reason, even though I said a lot because I'm running on almost 20 minutes now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Bubba, can you lay down? Lay down in your bed. Please, Koda, lay down. This is not for you. This is mom's. This is not a toy. No. Sit down. Wait. He's so funny. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess there's just, there's not anything that a person can say to accurately describe what this is like. It is indescribable and it's not something I would wish on any person. Um, <clears throat> you know, like there's a lot of times where I have this thought, like, I don't understand why it's so easy for some people and so hard for others. And like, I've always had this thought, you know, before we even began trying, like I, you know, would hear about somebody else struggling and it just didn't ever seem fair to me. And, you know, that being said, like, I would never... I would never wish other people to just like experience this and get it like I <clears throat> I just wish that people like me didn't have to experience it in the first place I haven't been posting on Instagram now you kind of know why if you happen to be someone that follows me there um, I'm going to try I'm gonna try to make more videos and try to upload every Friday at least to start maybe one day I'll do more uploads a week but I have to be able to commit to one video a week before I um get there you know but I'm going to try to do more Instagram posts because I feel like me me turning away from the things that normally make me feel good just because like right in this moment they're not is probably not the wisest decision for my mental health I always get makeup on my lips and my top lip is already so small so <laughs> it makes me look like I have no lips <coughs> 
Yeah, I know this wasn't very happy. I feel like this was a depressing video. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm not trying to bum people out or anything like that. But anyways, I'm going to try. Um, I need to start exercising again. I, I used to exercise regularly and then I hurt myself. I stopped exercising <clears throat> and then I started again and then my sciatic started hurting again like two days after I started exercising and I like can't risk me being immobile for two and a half months again. That was terrible. So uh, basically I am, I don't know, I need to find some sort of like a stretching to start off with and then sort of graduate towards lifting again because that's like what I really enjoy. I just need to get my body back to where it was um, slowly and be kind of patient with it because I definitely still have issues with my back and uh, my body's just very tight from not moving for so long. <laughs> uh, and that was a while ago and I'm still like all tense from it and stuff, but <coughs> sorry. <laughs> Other than all of that, I guess the only other thing going on is just that, I mean, along with my hearing aid, my doctors are trying to diagnose me as something called Meniere's disease. And, um, like, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I have it. I haven't gotten official diagnosis. My doctors tried to diagnose me in high school. They tested me for it when I wasn't having an episode and nothing showed up, of course. So <laughs> that didn't go through. And then now my doctor, like... It's a little frustrating because she basically, her and my audiologist both, my ENT and my audiologist both were like, we think you have this, but we don't want to, or my ENT didn't want to diagnose me because I'm so young, which um, the issue is just that a lot of ENTs aren't very familiar with Meniere's disease. Like they're not just very comfortable with it. And other doctors that are very familiar with it are able to pick up the telltale signs and just, um, give people the diagnosis that they need and the thing is is that Meniere's disease is something that can affect my quality of life down the road honestly it affects my quality of life hey hey no 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 why are you eating that no <coughs> it affects my quality of life sometimes now um and so I need to know whether or not I have it so I can mentally prepare myself and also um just the validation because when you have an issue that you struggle with and it's unseen, it can be really easy to feel like you're not justified in your struggle, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, so um, I'm in the process of getting that figured out. They want to send me four hours to Minneapolis to a specialist to get an official diagnosis even though an ENT is perfectly capable of diagnosing Meniere's disease because I know lots of people online who've gotten diagnosed by ENTs so I'm thinking that I'm going to try and see another ENT here even though I really really like mine who just is maybe a lot more familiar with Meniere's because I don't know if I can swing driving four hours to appointments. I, I definitely, I get like driving anxiety, especially in the snow. Like I'm not familiar with driving in the snow. And so it would have to be me and my husband and just arranging that would not be the easiest. So that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sorry if this was kind of depressing <laughs> or if it was kind of boring. I don't even know if people are going to watch it this far because of the fact that it was probably kind of depressing slash boring. But sad for you, you'll be missing the most fun part of this video. This guy. I know, this is my toy. Wait, 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 watch, watch, watch. Is this my toy? This is for mama. Oh, this is such a good toy. Oh, this is my toy. Oh no, this is my toy. Oh no, thank you, thank you. This is for me. <laughs> okay, okay, sit. Give me a shaker. Okay, that was a really intense shake. Sit. <laughs> all right, all right. I will leave you guys. Um, I'm trying to think like I wanna end on a happier note, but 
this is just, I guess Coda will make it happy. I'm fine. I'm doing, I'm not okay, but I am okay at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of my life update. I'll try to keep doing videos. I'll maybe explain to you more about my, my new job. And um, just thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I promise that not all of my videos will be this long or this sad. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.